all right uh, good morning good evening everyone uh, here i'm going to demonstrate quick automation uh, tips on you know handling the batch profile uh, when you're working as a oracle database administration and when there are multiple databases or multiple database instances are running under a oracle home and how you can handle your batch profile so in my previous uh, session when i explained about the batch profile i think if you have not gone through this one please uh, go over this and a couple of questions are asked. What if there are more than one database running? What multiple database were installed on a particular host? How we can handle the batch profile? Right, so that's what I'm gonna demonstrate in this particular today's session here. Right, so let's quickly jump on this particular lab and then do a select star from your instances or just do a PSF and F grep SMON and identify how many databases instances are running here. Right now, here, dev, uh, ORCL and ORA12C, two databases were running. The moment I log in to Oracle environment, automatically it should ask me which database you want to set the environment and you can connect to that particular database. It should ask me the moment I log in to my Oracle owner. Right now, ORCL and ORA12C, both are installed with the Oracle user. The moment I log in with Oracle user, it should ask me that and in this particular demonstration, I'm taking an example as a dev as a database name. Instead of ORCL, I'll take it as a dev. And then, Vara, oh, sorry, instead of uh, Vara C, I'll take it as a test is the other database name. And other database name is UAT. Assuming that you have three database instances are installed on this host. And what happens? The moment you log in SU hyphen Oracle, it should ask you select a database. One for dev database, two is test database, three is for UA database. Out of these three databases, what you want to select? Enter your selection. Enter one for dev DB, enter two for test, enter three for UAT, and enter four or any other key to exit. I don't want to select anything. So the moment I run my option as a one, right? I give an option as one, and if I hit enter, logged in to Dev database. You are connected to Dev database, so I think it's not displaying here the Dev. I'm gonna put that some more advanced script here. You are connected to Dev. It should display me Dev database, and make sure that you are working on Dev database, and you are make sure that you are intended to work on this particular database, this particular Oracle home. You have to modify these further more parameters. How I can do that? Right. If I exit. And if I connect login now, now if I connect it to option two, if I do option two, enter two for connecting for test database. So it says you do not have a test environment variable file. Right, now exit again and try third time. If I connect, I'll enter UAT. The moment I enter three, option three, because option enter option three for UAT database. So it'll say that you are connected to UAT database and you are intended to work on UAT and you are connected to this particular Oracle home. You are making sure that you are intended to work on this particular Oracle home. This is perfect, right? When I give this option three, it is giving me, it is setting me all the environment variable, my Oracle base, Oracle home, and LD library path and Java path and all those things. That's how it should be. So I got two issues. When I select option one, it did not set the properly environment like you can see nothing nothing here it's all blank and when i give on the option two it says when i selected the option two that is test db it says home oracle test env is not available i need to fix those two conditions but when i select the third option it is all perfectly setting all my environment variable here right how i am able to do this one the simple understanding so there's a bash profile whenever you log in with oracle user there's a bash profile will be called out and in that particular batch profile, I'm running one cell script here. This is my cell script. I'm running this particular cell script. What this cell script is contains. Let's go over on that particular cell script. Right. So it is a commented out here. How to use that particular cell script. It is explained over here. And this is a banner. Whatever you are seeing it the moment you log in. One for dev, two for test, and three for UAT. And this is your print, the banner message, which one you want to enter. And this is going to read your input, whatever the input I'm selecting here, one, two, three, or four, or any other key. It's going to read that input 
read and that's a variable here you can give whatever name you want i'm gonna do like you know prof whatever you're gonna number whatever the selection number you're gonna read it in this particular variable and i'm gonna comparing if condition if whatever that variable the user variable whatever the user variable prof number the preference number whatever the selected number is equal to one then print you logged into dev and call out this particular environmental variable here if you see i did not use the dot you have to use dot and call out that dev database environmental variable i did not put that dot here that's where you know i'm not able to set that particular environmental variable and in the second option else if if uh, preference number whatever i entered is equal to two then you logged into test database and i'm calling my test environmental file but i don't have that environmental file created right else if if i given preference number as a three then i logged into uat database and i'm calling it out dot space my uat environmental variable file else if if my preference number is not equal to one my preference number is not equal to two and my preference number is not equal to three then exit straight away exit that cell script and later you're gonna print all the sid oracle sid oracle home all those details right right now it is dot is missing here and test.env file is missing so i need to modify that one let's go ahead and then vi that particular script vi and then i'll go to my dev.env first we'll fix that option one i am missing this dot here i'm going to put that dot here let's go here and dot space right the first option is perfectly fixed and second option it says this particular file does not exist we need to create this particular file let's validate that one i'm going to save this file now after that i'm going to do lsf and ltr and you can see my dev.env is available i think it's a sh file i don't need it let's remove that and now if I go here, I have this dev.env. What is there inside that? If I cat that one, it is gonna call out your SID, your Oracle base, your Oracle home, your LD library path, your class path, and your Java path. It is as good as you are running all this command. The moment you run all this command, you can validate your environmental variable and it's gonna set all the variable for you. And if I go for UAT, cat UAT, and it's a simple thing. It's all gonna set your environmental variable, SID, base, Oracle home, LD library path, class path, and path. So if I run this one, this is my path. If I run dot space home slash my UAT file, it's gonna set all the environmental. Right now, all the environmental set to dev. The moment I call this dot, I'm gonna call this same exact command in our cell script, right? If I run this one, all the environmental variable is gonna set it to UAT. You can validate using this command right fair enough you can either export it to each by one by one command or you can directly run that particular environmental variable file using this dot space and that environmental file you're going to set all the environmental variable right so right now i'm having only two environmental file here uat and dev test is missing that's why i'm not able to select the third option right let's test it out we fixed it for the first option whatever the issue we had it SC Oracle, again, it is asking for the option. Now, if I give option one, it will perfectly sets all the environmental variable. Right, you can see you are logged into dev, connected to dev database, and you are intended to work in dev database. You are intended to use your Oracle home. That's all fine. If I scroll it up and see, show you that the earlier issue, when I entered, where is that one? Right here, when I entered my option one, it was not properly set the environmental variable because I was missing that dot. It was not calling that environmental variable file. Right now, when I give when I gave the second option, it clearly script is exited in line number 33. And it says this particular test.env file is missing. Yes, that's correct. We don't have that env file. Right. Let's go ahead and create that env file now. Similar to this uh, dev and UAT. I'll simply cat this particular env file. Right, so this content, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just replace that database name 
So instead of dev, I'm gonna replace it as a test. So now I'm gonna, instead of dev, I'm gonna create vi test.env, right? I'm gonna put all this content into that particular file. Done, fair enough, I'm gonna save this one. Now I'm gonna exit from Oracle user. Now I log in back again. So if I log in, now I'll give option two. The moment I give option two, you're gonna set properly logged into your test database. You are connected to test database. You are intended to work on test database. You are intended to use this particular Oracle home, right? So that's how you need to handle when you have multiple database, multiple instances are running on Oracle, single Oracle host, single server. You can use this batch profile and integration with your cell script and you know you can intelligently choose whichever environmental you want to connect when you logged in as a you know oracle user or else if you don't have this particular you don't want to do integration and you can simply do if you want to use your once you log in with oracle user you want to set the uat environment and you can just do dot space uat you're going to set all the environmental variable to your UAT. And if you want to set the environment to dev, you can just do dot space dev. You're going to set all the environmental to your dev. You can see it's all set to dev. And if you want to use test, you can same thing dot space test env. env pipeline capital for a, you're going to set all the environmental to test. So either manually run this environmental variable file using dot space and the file name complete path or the just a short path if you are already on that location. That will set you either. This is one of the way you can either directly go with the dot running the bash prof running the profile for the environmental variable. It will set everything for you. Or other option is dash run dot env and then it's gonna ask you for your environmental variable. You can give those environmental variable test dev and UAT, whatever the instance is running, it's gonna set it. It's a runtime environmental variable you're setting it out. And instead of running this one and passing the variable, everything you can put it in the environmental variable and execute them. Or you can integrate this environmental variable in a single cell script, and you can call that single cell script, right? If you can see, this is a cell script. And this cell script, you're gonna integrate with this interactive session by reading the user option, and you can call out all those home oracle dev.env, home oracle test.env, home oracle uat.env, you just call them with a dot space. That's gonna interact with the you know, user interaction. And you can put this one in your bash profile, cat bash underscore profile. In this bash profile, you can just run that cell script. And the moment user login, you're gonna run this particular cell script. Right, you can see su oracle, you're gonna run this particular cell script at the time of user login. Or if you don't want to do that one, and you can run the script, sh, and run the script. Again, it's gonna do the same thing, it's gonna execute. If I enter option four, it's gonna exit straight away. If I enter any key, right? If I enter any key, and it's gonna exit. That's what it says, enter four or any key, any other key to exit, right? The same thing if you log in, you can do option four, it's gonna just exit. It launches at any environmental variable. Right, that's a quick intro about how you can intelligently build your automation script using cell scripting to manage your day-to-day -day database administration. All right, so let's uh, connect on our next session with a few more automation and tips. Until then, take care. Thank you, guys.